So in this video, we will cover the LMS section of the education module in ERP Next. LMS is a learning management system for student. ERP Next allows institute to upload the programs on the website. So each program will have a course, each course will have a topic and within the topic there will be article video as well as quiz. So let's have a look on it. We'll have, let's have a look at it. Now, okay, okay, now before that, before that I want to clear one thing that make sure that the in, in the education settings you have enabled the LMS learning enable manage enable learning management system so then only it will be available on the portal okay also so let's have a look at it all right erp.mypad.in slash LMS this is the route for that so here you can see that I have this particular programs now only programs which I have checked on that box like I'll show you which one let's go to the program list allow self enroll you have to do and then you also have to allow publish on website is published over here so if I have is published then only that will be available on the website basically on the portal okay so now actually I'm logging into two different account now this is my like main user account you can say I'm, I'm like an instructor handling this account and this is an account for student okay so student have an access to their website they don't necessarily have to have the access to the desk because desk can be complicated sometimes all right now okay so what I was telling is that the LMS will have the programs and within the programs there will be courses we have English course now there is nothing yet in the English course so I'll go to the standard 10 because I have something over there okay now this is social studies inside social studies we have this particular topic exogenetic process inside that we have this particular quiz article and video okay so also we have this in progress over here so what it means is that um, through this website portal students can track their progress on ERP next okay so let's go back and then we'll go to the article okay now I have this article that I have created which is named as social studies so I'll show you this article on the portal okay let's go to this okay let's go to this article all right now this is like published on the website over here so students can read this and then I'll click on next so this is the video over here for the exogenetic process okay so basically you can add like let's listen to this mm. okay so we have a we I mean we can upload the website videos also on the website so that that will allow student to learn make the learning process really easy okay and then we have a quiz over here so all right let, let's go into the desk first and then so I hope you understood about the article now I'll go to the next section that is video so creating a new video is really easy all right let's create a new video and the title will be so basically you can add a title and then you can add a URL I won't create a new one uh, instead I'll show you this one that has already created so the provider you can select over here okay and this is the title of the the video and then we can add a URL over here okay and this is a published date now duration if you want to add a duration then you can add a duration for the video if you don't want to then it's okay let's have a look at this like how long is that video Mm, it's seven minutes so I'll just write seven minutes seven seconds and save it okay what happened all right seven let's save it all right now let's go to the website and refresh it all right so we have the duration over here okay let's go back so this was about the video all right now next is okay let me see this um, I added it as seven minutes like why is it showing 420 minutes okay let me go to that video again 
I have added seven minutes standby. Seven seconds. Save it. Refresh it. Okay, I think there's some internal error for this, so that needs to be resolved. Once it is resolved, I'll I'll make a video on this part again. So let's go back. Okay, now we have a quiz section. So quiz section is also really easy. For each quiz, we can have multiple questions. Okay, now like you can add questions from over here and all right let's go into the already created question and have a look at it so this is the question that i have created that is what is the main type of chemical weathering and then you get to add the options for it okay and then we have the type for it like there can be a single correct answer or there can be a multiple so let's say if i'm correcting this also and i'm going to save it then what it means is that there are multiple correct answer okay so right now there is no multiple correct answer let's save it okay so i hope you understood about the quiz part also i mean this way you can add more questions into this question link over here all right let's go to the quiz now and this is the passing score and then how many like attempts are allowed let's say if there are two attempts allowed okay so if somebody is not clearing first attempt they get to uh, attend the second attempt also and then we have the grading basis which is on the latest which is based on the latest attempt so i'll go into that quiz now i'll go into that quiz and i'll give the quiz okay now right now i'm logged in as a student so what is mechanical weathering let's consider this is the answer what is the main type of chemical weathering oxidation oxidation what are the example of biological weathering all of the above submit okay congratulations you cleared the quiz okay okay next is i'll simply finish this topic over here okay all right so here you can see that my status has now changed to complete it now this way you can have various topics on the portal this way you can have various topics and then e within each topic you can create different different quizzes okay now also let's go to the desk now and i want to show you something that is we have a quiz activity list so whenever somebody takes a quiz on the desk we have this quiz activity list which you can see the time is now and the score was 100 okay this was correct so this can be for like the instructor they have the access to the desk so they can see this scores over here okay now currently this section is under development so it needs like some work on it all right so let's go back on the education and the lms so i hope you understood this um like learning management system about the portal and everything how you can add um, how you can add all this um, courses as well as programs onto the website okay also that uh, error that was coming for the time i think that is some backend issue that will be fixed later so I hope you understood this whole video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any like questions, then you can mention them in the comment and we'll try to reach out to you and clear them to you. Thank you so much.